Medway Queen carried its last excursion passengers on the 9th of September 1963. Paddle steamers disappeared over a period between five and ten years in the 60s and suddenly were gone. We've rounded the headland at Sheerness and are leaving the mighty Thames estuary behind us, heading up Kent's largest waterway, the Medway. Oh, yes, sir. Could we have a, uh, a tidal reading? And it's here we meet an incredible group dedicated to saving a vital piece of world maritime history. A pleasure steamer that became an unlikely war hero, Medway Queen. I'm here to discover how the Medway Queen was saved and why. It's a story of the best of times, the worst of times, of bright seaside days, of the darkest days of war. She's defied rust and the wreckers. This is a story of many passionate people and a long, long struggle. The classic old paddle steamers became a much-loved part of sunny seaside holidays for many families. Medway Queen and her sister steamers were a vital part of just getting around. They look so beautiful. Their paddle wheels churning the water, the broad white wake behind. For the passengers, the journey was a highlight. There was that lovely smell of egg, bacon and dry bread and sausages all throughout the lower decks. As the world turned to war... Medway Queen was transformed into a Navy ship. I'm heading to France and the infamous place that made Medway Queen a war hero, Dunkirk. First impressions was lots of smoke, the guns firing, and then as they got closer and closer to Dunkirk, the tens of thousands of soldiers. The stranded troops would have to be rescued. The crew took her in across the sands, where the troops could clamber aboard straight out of the water. And the guys just kept coming, hundreds of them. She was amongst the first to cross to Dunkirk and one of the last to arrive home. She had truly earned her enduring title, the heroine of Dunkirk. It was obviously been neglected for a long, long time. It was rotten as a pear. The saving of the Medway Queen is testament to an incredible group of ship savers that never gave up. The only way that we could get the ship back was, would be to rebuild the hull. A fully riveted steel plate ship on this scale had not been built in the United Kingdom for over 50 years. Starting from the keel, the hull grew from ground up and the familiar shape of the Medway Queen started to fill the dry dock. After four years, the rebuilt Medway Queen was ready to go home. It's quite an emotional day, really. The fact that it had finally arrived back in its home place, you know, the, the feeling was elation. There's something about the Medway Queen just gets under your skin. My grandfather was on the beaches of Dunkirk. I do it because I'm giving something back. There is only literally one Medway Queen, one Medway Queen story. It comes back to our history, to knowing where we've come from, in order to know where we're going. It's so easy to scrap them or just let them fall to pieces. The preservation team are driven by the dream of saving this part of history. When they're gone, they're gone, and they will never, ever be replaced. It's as simple as that. We're getting there. We're winning. 